I mean, it just depends. It just depends on what you're looking for. I know for my age group, schools are very important. You know, if we look at a house and we find a house and we're like, oh my God, this is a beautiful house. If it's everything we're looking for, it's in our price point, it's the size we need. But then you go look at the school ratings and it's like a two. And you're like, oh, hell no, you know? So you might have to sacrifice or you may not. Yo, you might, your kid might be a rated two kid. So you might be like, oh, this is perfect for this kid, you know? So it just depends on you. I think that's one of the biggest things to look at, though. And then the commute. The commute is the next huge thing. Earlier, okay. We are going to be talking about everything you need to know about Dallas, Texas. We are going live on the map. As you can see, my business partner, Brandy, she is live. And I just noticed we got the same baseball cap. So, <laughs> but yeah, we are going to talk about Dallas, Texas. So if you are interested in moving, make sure you hit that red subscribe button to know everything you need to know about living, working, playing, eating in Dallas. And listen, guys, we give this information away completely for free. But for if free. you are moving, <laughs> all these attempts, we definitely got your back when moving to Dallas. My decision was based off the school district for me. I don't mind driving to work. Um, even before I was self-employed. But for me, it was a school district. So I find that it's easier if you have an area that you kind of have an idea of where you want to live. So if you have a job, then look for um, best areas to live for the cost of living near your job. And then you can look up the commute, you know? Or if you do, um, like, if you have a friend or family that you want to kind of live close to your family, then maybe that's something also to kind of look into so that it'll help narrow down your search. Or if it's price point, you know, you can Google the price point um, of the schools that you want to go to. You know what I mean? Because that kind of helps as well. And I kind of have... I really like the fact that you brought up the, the school districts. Mm -hmm. Because all of these school districts are mainly located in the North Dallas area. So Highland Park, Independent School District, Carroll, these are the top five. So when you're looking for school districts, what kind of, uh, what like what ranking would you look for? Um, it just depends on the programs. I had high school kids, so I was looking for um, international baccalaureate programs. I was looking oh, wow. for college, um, college course programs, something that is um, uh, gifted and talented programs. So those are the things that I was looking for because that was what my kid was in at that time. I was trying mm -hmm. to find an equivalent or better because that was the point of the move to find something better than what we had from up north. So that yeah. was for me, but I was like, okay, I'd rather be close to a great school district and drive 45 minutes to work than be close to my job, but have them in a crappy school district. So that was Facts. for me, you know? Facts. But I look at that, I look at if your kids are in sports, you want to see what they're rating as statewide for sports um, because they have that as well. If you want to see like um, the crime of the school or any type what their success and graduation rate is, all of that is Google, Googleable. <laughs> I don't know if that's a word or not, but um, you can just- You're gonna make it one a day. <laughs> right, and then, or what their test scores are. Um, look at the ranking of the teachers. Like you can, whatever it is, that is your criteria. Because I'm sure that we all look for different things, you know? If your kid yeah. is involved in golf, you want to see if that school has a good golf program. Or if your kid is involved in a trade or tech program, you want to make sure that school has those types of programs available. But what people don't realize here in Texas, although some of the greatest schools are in the higher income areas, you can still find great schools in not so high income areas. I'm but glad you said about, that. Yes, and the, what people don't know about Texas is, because I didn't know, each city has its own individual school district. So if your kid, if you live in Little M, Little M has its own in, uh, independent school district. Louisville, Fort Worth, Haltom City, every single one of all of these cities have their own individual school district. Now, Fort Worth and Dallas is the larger of the districts because they're the big cities, but every other city also has their own independent school district. So look, do your research because it's there, you know? So I don't know, Brandy. At first I was thinking we should go over the map, but talk about schools. I think that's something, what do you want to talk about? Schools or? I well, there's a lot to really talk about for schools. I just know that. That should um, probably be a separate video, right? I mean, it's just, again, schools can get broke down academically. It can get broke down for sports and athletics. 
because that's something they should know as well. Like if your kid is coming to Texas for sports, Texas is serious about his sports. So you can't leave and come here just so your kid, you can't use that verbiage. Okay. Like you can't say you're picking no, they, a neighborhood because it's the top for school because you have to find, you have to sign um, IUL forms. I mean, UIL forms. It's a whole big deal because Texas takes recruiting and sports serious. Even in high school level, they do not play in Texas with their sports, especially their football, honey. Texas is not the place don't. to play. No, so they go, yeah. They take it serious. When that. I say, I'm talking about, they tailgate for middle school, high school. I'm talking about parades in the city if your kids go to championships. Like, it's a big deal. So that's something I think is a little different when you're coming from other cities and states. So just kind of know what's going on with that school district. If you're if you're planning to move here and you're looking for Highland Village, look up Highland Village Independent School District. They are all, all you gotta do is look up whatever city, ISD, that's what it's called, Independent School District. And it'll give you everything. They have their own um, superintendents, like each city has its own literally um, office, central office, um, everything. So you kind of might want to pay attention to those things. And like, they, their school districts here are huge. Like, and I was in Virginia, yeah. our school districts, we only had like three schools per uh, school district. And I was, well, no, like eight schools per school district, but it was like across um, two different cities. Like it was our three high schools and like their five high schools in one specific school district. Here, a whole city probably got like 30, 30 schools. I don't, I don't, I don't know too much about that, but the way that they talk about these independent school districts is yeah. Totally well, that's, when it's problem. when it's that large, it's more than likely the big cities, like your mm -hmm. Dallas and your Fort Worth. But like me, let's say me, right? I live in White Settlement. So for White Settlement, we have one high school in our ISD. We have oh, one wow. school in our ISD. We have several elementary schools, but we just have one high school, one middle school, and several elementary schools that just based off of what area. Lake Worth has one high school, one middle school, and a couple of elementary schools. So most of the cities, depending on how big that city is, they only have one high school. But I'm talking about when you pull up to these campuses, these high schools look like colleges. Like it's no joke. And if you're going to like the expensive areas, like your Highland Village, like your Frisco's, like your South Lakes, these schools are like, you wouldn't even believe it. Like I can't even, even like where you went to go vlog last week, you vlogged Alito. My kid graduated oh, yeah. from Alito High School and pulling into that school, you're like, no way that this is the high school, but it's a state championship school. They've won state several times. So people have funded the school. So the football field looks like a college campus, no lie. Like it's crazy. So pay attention to the schools. Cause if you have kids, I know we, we talk a lot about the houses, like pay attention to the schools. And normally if the school system is good, your taxes are gonna be a little higher. So that's something you wanna kind of pay attention to as well. You're paying for that school district, your, your money, your hard earned money from your taxes are going towards those school districts. So. See, and this is why we got to have Brandy. We got to have ah. Brandy. That's <laughs> just from a mother's standpoint. I, I, think I, I would never know. Look, I'll be trying to look. I'll be trying to point you on the direction where the hottest spots is. But Brandy's like, yeah, let's let's put him in the direction where the schools are. So I mean, it just depends. Have. It just depends yeah. on what you're looking for. I know for my age group, schools are very important, you know? If we look at a house and we find a house and we're like, oh my God, this is a beautiful house. If it's everything we're looking for, it's in our price point, it's the size we need. But then you go look at the school ratings and it's like a two. And you're like, oh, hell no, you know? So you might have to sacrifice or, or you may not. Yo, you might, your kid might be a rated two kid. So you might be like, oh, this is perfect for this kid, you know? So it just depends on you. I think that's one of the biggest things to look at though. And then the commute. The commute is the next huge thing. Okay, okay. Well, so that we is going to be... Schools. I think that was a lot of information on the schools. <laughs> yeah, so we actually... I was actually going to start talking about the map. So if the intro doesn't fit the video, we're going to change it to... We're talking about schools in this video. So we actually ended up talking about schools. Uh, so thank you guys for tuning in. And uh, thank you, Brandy, because you was dropping gems. 
And I think this would be very helpful for people looking to move to Dallas, especially yeah. for the kids looking looking for the best school districts. We want them kids to be smart, <laughs> have, right. the, have the best schools, have the best yeah. athletics, be uh, able to get those scholarships and all that good right. stuff. So, right. So reach right. out to us if you have any questions about the school districts. I say Google it, you know, because we are doing this yeah. channel, but we are also licensed realtors and we, I can't say if the school district is good or bad, but we can give you all the information. If you go on niche.com, then you can look up and it'll tell yes, you. This is, look, whenever yeah. somebody asks me, like, honestly, no lie, because people assume that we know everything. Like, is this area going to be safe? Or mm -hmm. does this have the best school district? I'm like, yeah, it looks good, but I can't tell you if it's safe. I don't personally yeah. live there. But and we can't personally I mean. say that. We can't yeah. within legal ramifications yeah. say if it's a good neighborhood or bad because it's at whose accord, you know what I mean? And from fair housing, we can't tell you if the schools are good or bad, but we can send you to niche.com so you can kind of look yourself. And with our map, the Google map, one thing we didn't say, if you're looking to move here, it's good to rely on us because we're going to go. We'll drive all around this whole damn Metroplex to show you, see you how those areas. Like, we seriously. Just you. Look, this is 28 minutes from Grand Prairie to downtown Fort Worth. That's how we we, we drive that. Now we Brandy drive longer than Worth. that. Like, where is Waxahachie? Where is Waxahachie? I was gonna say, Brandy, she lives in White Settlement. She was she uh, the last week she was in Plano. Yeah. Uh, she was in Waxahachie. She was Garland. in uh, Rock Rockwell. I mean, that's Garland, Forney. Yeah, like we drive and do what we need to do. So we have no issue looking for you. But you want to also do your own due diligence and maybe Google map it so you can see what the area looks like around. Don't just rely on us saying, oh, you know, this is what this neighborhood looks like. Look to see if you don't mind, because in Texas, you can have some residential mixed with commercial and you think it's a bad neighborhood because it's a tire shop sitting on the corner of your block. So look, Google map, like this is what, this is why Drake pulled this map up so you can see not only the distance, but what that individual subsidy looked like, you know?